Hey everybody, welcome to Keyboard Skills Pro. My name is Tom Horton, I'm a professional musician here in the UK. Do check out my website, tomhorton.co.uk, for piano books, organ books, lots of information, audio CDs, and lots more cool stuff as well. In this two minute tip, as it's Tuesday, we're gonna show you and tell you about Alberti Bass. Now a lot of people don't know the phrase Alberti Bass. It was invented um, and popularized by a guy in the old days called Mr. Alberti. And it's a common staple of uh, classical piano music for sure. Now, what is Alberti bass? Well, it was so named because of the pattern that uh, was devised. So the pattern is taking a chord, let's say a C chord, and breaking it into a broken chord. But instead of going up and down, it goes bottom, top, middle, top. And that's the pattern of Alberti bass. Bottom, top, middle, top. So if I play an F chord, look, bottom, top, middle, top. What if I played a, uh, a G7? It might be this look to get a bit closer to the C chord. So I'd go bottom, top, middle, top. So even in inversions, look, it's the same pattern. So that piece of Mozart that we played at the beginning uses on the left hand Alberti bass. There you go, look, da, 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 bottom, top, middle, top, bottom, top, middle, top, bottom, top, middle, top. So just remember that, bottom, top, middle, top. That is the Alberti bass pattern, folks. So when you're playing classical pieces on the piano, you'll hear that and go, aha, I know what that pattern is. It's Alberti bass. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit subscribe. If you want to support the channel, visit patreon.com forward slash keyboard skills pro. I'll see you soon here for another two-minute tip on Tuesday. Goodbye. Thanks so much.